Variables are how information is remembered in Scenario VR. There are predefined variables within Scenario VR, as well as custom variables that can be created. Variables are loosely typed, meaning that they will be treated as either strings or numbers, depending on their contents. Creating custom variables is straightforward. Select the three-dot menu at the top left of the editor area, and then select Variables. This will bring up a list of variables that are currently defined for the scenario. Selecting Add Variable adds a new variable, allows you to name it, and give it an initial value. The predefined variables within Scenario VR are Score, which will contain the currently calculated score of the scenario, as well as a variable for each timer within the scenario that contains the number of seconds currently on that timer. Variables are manipulated through a Modify Variable action. Here you can set the value of a variable directly, or add or subtract to or from the value of that variable. You can actually add or subtract from string values as well. Variable substitution is how variables can be shown to the user and also used for any action or condition that can take a string as input. The basic concept is that using the name of the variable surrounded by percent symbols will be substituted for the value of the variable at runtime. The variable name between percent symbols is not case sensitive. So, for instance, if you wanted to show the number of questions that have been answered, you can use the variable name enclosed by percent symbols in an info card like we have here. Once in preview mode, you'll see that the actual value of the variable is displayed. Another common usage is to show the score to the user at the end of the scenario when they've completed, like this.